Scientists at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory celebrating their historic breakthrough with fusion energy. Today, the U.S. Secretary of Energy marked the milestone at the lab and encouraged the scientists to lead the country into the future. Our Greg Lee has this story. Harnessing the power of the sun and the stars right here on Earth. Fusion offers the promise of affordable, abundant, reliable, clean energy. It is the holy grail. A holy grail achieved by the team at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory's National Ignition Facility. For the first time, scientists demonstrated a nuclear fusion reaction that generated more energy than it used, called ignition. Today is not the end of the ignition journey. It marks the beginning of what will be an incredible era of discovery and innovation. The scientific breakthrough achieved in December celebrated during a special ceremony that included Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm. She said it's the first step towards limitless, clean energy and increasing national security. Ignition gives us a new tool for instilling confidence in our nuclear capabilities and obviously one that avoids underground testing and one a tool that subverts the threat of sparking a new arms race. This fusion ignition is the result of more than 60 years of work and research, a course that was set by former director John Knuckles. How are we going to get a multi-million million joule laser? Because that's what I calculated we would need. And the next problem, I said, you know, I don't think I'm going to live long enough. <laughs> but I lucked out, you know, and here I am, and here is this wonderful program, incredible. Beyond belief. To reach ignition, scientists fired 192 lasers at a metal cylinder the size of a pencil eraser. Inside, a peppercorn sized capsule of two heavier forms of hydrogen, a feat that required serious engineering and technology. That little target capsule, about the size of a peppercorn, has to be almost perfect. The container that surrounds the capsule has to be made from the right materials and have just the right size and shape. The power profile of each of those 192 laser beams has to be almost perfect. Scientists say we're decades away from seeing fusion power production on a commercial scale. Still, this achievement proving it can be done. Now, the federal government is providing tens of millions of dollars to public and private partners to continue pushing the needle forward. The whole point about commercial fusion is that you want to have pilot plants, essentially, that are much more bite-sized. <clears throat> and that you can take to scale uh, across the country. Officials at the lab say they're refurbishing lasers and doing other maintenance so they can recreate and get even more energy from fusion ignition. Greg Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.